scared myself there for a second. Oh, look at him. Isn't he handsome? Oh, Goose. Goose is really good at telling stories, but you know what he's not good at? Taking turns. Mm -mm. So the title is Silly Goose's Big Story. Look who's looking here in the corner. There's a reason he needs a big story. This book was written and illustrated by Kiko Kaza. And this book was published by G.P. Putnam's Sons. Oh, look at the pirate hat there. Let's find out. It's a really good story. I like to share. Goose made up great stories. His friends would always beg him, tell us a story, Goose. One day, Goose said, once upon a time, there were fierce pirates. Soon they were sailing the seven seas together, looking for treasures, and Goose was the captain, the fiercest of them all. Another day, Goose said, once upon a time, there were scary dinosaurs. Soon they were roaming the earth together, hunting and growling, and naturally, Goose was the T-Rex, the scariest of them all. Then another day, Goose said, once upon a time, there was a mighty king. Soon they were marching through the towns and hills together, conquering the world. And who got to play the king? The mightiest of all? Why, Goose, of course. Wait a minute, Goose, said Beaver. You always play the hero. Why can't we take turns? Yeah, said Porcupine. I'd like to be the hero sometime. Me too, said Squirrel. No way, said Goose. I always play the hero. Come on, keep marching. That's selfish, said his friends but Goose wouldn't give in. They are my story, so I'm the hero, he insisted. They were so busy arguing, they didn't notice that someone was listening. Suddenly, a big wolf shouted, hello, lunch. They all screamed and ran, but poor Goose tripped on his royal cape. Wolf scooped him up in an instant. So you're the hero, huh? Wolf chuckled. More like a hero sandwich to me. Goose was in big trouble. He had to think fast. Finally, he had an idea. Mr. Wolf, Goose said, I'm glad I found you. You're in great danger. Is that so? Wolf laughed. How? Well, I'll tell you. Goose began the biggest story he ever told. Once upon a time, there were thousands of happy wolves living on this mountain. Uh-huh, said Wolf. Then one day, um, what's his name? Oh, yeah. Wem showed up, said Goose. Wem? Who's that? Oh, Wem is short for wolf-eating monster. Goose continued. He used to wander around saying, yum, yum, I smell a wolf. And when he found one, he popped it into his mouth like a peanut. You're lying, said Wolf, but he looked worried. It's true, Mr. Wolf, said Goose. Do you see thousands of wolves here? And this is the worst part. Wem is back. Just at that moment, the trees started to shake and they heard loud footsteps in the distance. What's that? said Wolf. Soon spikes of hair 
appeared above the treetops. It couldn't be, said Wolf. Then a deep voice bellowed, Yum, yum, I smell a wolf. It's Wem, cried Wolf. He dropped Goose like a hot potato and took off running. He never looked back. Phew, Goose was relieved, but not for long. Something big was coming his way. It was getting closer and closer. Then, from behind the trees, there came his fierce-looking friends. Yum, yum, I smell a wolf. They were still growling together. Goose shouted with relief, Oh, you guys, you're Wem. Yep, I shook the trees, said Squirrel. The footsteps were me slapping my tail, said Beaver. I was Wem's hair, said Porcupine. Hey, you know what? Beaver shouted suddenly. We finally got to play the heroes. Play the heroes, cried Goose. You are the heroes. You saved me. Tell us another story, Goose, the friends begged as they walked home. Okay, I've got a good one, said Goose. Once upon a time, there was a silly Goose who had the three greatest friends in the world. I bet Goose is going to take turns. Because that's what friends do. We take turns. I'll take turns with you. Will you take turns with me? Maybe sometime we could take turns reading to each other. You read to me, I read to you. I would love that. Take turns. All the cool kids are doing it. I miss you, friends. Mwah.